Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dalton at Daltonians TFs, and as you've seen yesterday, I reviewed a, or not yesterday, Monday, wow, <laughs> I reviewed a Bionicle figure, and today we're going to be doing the same, this time the Toa of Water, the only female Toa, you know, at one specific time, and that is Toa Gali. Again, Toa or Master of Water. So, uh, one thing I forgot to mention in my Tahu video is he is a larger build. He comes, you know, comes with a little bit more parts and is a taller figure. So, he's going to be $20 retail and then these smaller figures are going to be $15 retail. Uh, as you can see, she is 70786. She has 87 pieces, ages 7 to 14. You got the back here. Some features, a little comic strip. Uh, shows here you can combine her with the protector of water to give her more armored up appearance. So, let's go ahead and get her open. I'll take a shot, show you all the parts that are in the set. And, unlike Tahu, I'm not going to show a build video, so I'll be right back. Okay, and here are all the pieces that come in the set. So, let's go ahead and get to building, and I will be back with her fully built. Okay, and here we have Toa Gali all put together. Looking really awesome in this nice dark cyan blue. Got some metallic blue in painted here with some yellow on the chest piece. Uh, really nice gunmetal metallic silver. Uh, got some more of that blue, some translucent blue here on the arms. A little bit of yellow here and there. Got this massive water battle axe that can flip around and become a trident. And she can still... The reason she's able to hold such a heavy weapon is because, you know, like Tahu, she does have the two gears back here to give her friction. But they further the friction even more to make it stiffer. They added two more here up at the front, which I really appreciate that. So, and here she is with her Kanohi mask, the Cow Cow, which is the Kanohi mask of underwater breathing. So you got a little like a breathing apparatus there. You got some goggles here. And if you, again, brain stock come, flip the brain stock and the head comes off, or the mask comes off. You got the gold version of the mask, which is even more powerful. And that comes off. And she too comes with a skull spider. Instead of being in that weird snot green, she, it comes with this kind of metallic like her hands and the battle axe and it attaches the you know the same way so let's go ahead and get her mask put back on and show this other feature with the weapon and that would pretty much be it so go ahead and take this off pull these two pieces off take this out put it in here put it in right there now she's got her little trident well, not really little, it's more like a, a spear trident. Then you can take these, and take this axle out here, like so. And these will plug into the bottom of her feet to give her some flippers. So now she's got flippers so she can go diving in the water. And to further even more, you can put these together. Like so. And now she's got this whole mermaid thing going on. Uh, so far, her and Tahu are probably my two favorites. Just because the way they're built and the way their functions work. And this also homages the original. The original one would have little propellers in the back of her hand, well, that's what the Nuva, which is what this is homaging. The original had two little hook things, like little harpoon hooks. But the mask is definitely a reference to the original figure, which I would love to track down both the original Mata figures and the Nuva figures at some point, just to pose with these. And there were the Fantoka and Mystica figures. I don't think I'm going to waste my time with those, but I really like these ones so far. I've got four out of the six Toa. Uh, she was the 
most recent one I got, which is probably why I'm liking her so much right now. Also, like I said, her build. So, other than that, uh, she does have only a few spare parts being, you know, one, two spacers and two little axle pieces or pins. So, that it. That'll be it for Golly. So, hope to see, hope to see what you guys think of these videos so far and... Uh, I'll probably do either Anua or Kohatu next, uh, just depends on what I feel like doing. So, hope you enjoyed this video, check out the, you know, other videos of these Bionicle figures either coming out or the last one that I did. Check out some other reviews I've done, being Transformers and a couple of the Ninja Turtles figures I reviewed. That's pretty much all there is to say, so check out my Facebook, Twitter, down in the description below. Like this video, subscribe, comment, let me know. I'll see you guys on Friday, so see ya.